Let's see. Let's get Yuna and Terra's champion medals. What now? Goodbye. This button. <laughs> champion medals. Sending. Revive KO'd allies and fully restore HP. Magitech Laser. Inflict neutral magical damage, bypass defense. Also bestows magic up on all allies. Let's take the summoners. Well, summoner and Terra is something else, but anyway. <laughs> Shall we get started? Let's. What now? Whose soul will you touch? The five Cogna Lords. They take two armor gems apiece, but you got a bunch of armor gems from the fights, so you should have enough. Let's see. The Unwritten Future. Complete the League of S's assignment. Protect town from Cogna. I've awaited this day. <laughs> Chocolate's master. Bravery seed and something. Two different conversations. Okay, let's uh We could do the five Cogna Lords, but now that we know what's going on, let's do some other some other quest. We have a lot of armor gems. Uh the ice bridge. Riffia needs to ret uh, Riffia returns to Sherilata's uh, Solus for some well-needed R&R after Saronia. She gets to thinking about how dangerous the path is across the ice is, and decides to look for a way to create a safe route through. After talking with Charlotta, the two of them head to the Nether Nebula. <sighs> I guess there's no point in me dwelling on it now. Seriously, getting to town and back is a real pain in the neck. Maybe with some magic, I wonder if I could just build an ice bridge right here. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't know how to use uh, blizzard magic. <laughs> that that would help <laughs> if you're going to create an ice bridge. <laughs> Build a bridge? Uh, I suppose that it would ease the journey to town, but ice sounds like a recipe for a broken neck. You might have a point there. Hmm, a bridge of ice. Oh, now hold on. I've heard of a mirage who might be able to make us exactly what we're looking for. That would be great! I think her name was Shiva. She's said to live somewhere in Cornelia. Hmm... It, wait a second. If we build a bridge that leads right to town, then who's going to stay at the Solace anymore? Hmm... I certainly can't have that. Hey, Revia! We weren't done talking this over yet! Totally done. <laughs> Shiva would be able to do that, Good yes. Grief. How'd I let you talk me into coming along? That's funny. I thought I told you I could handle it myself. Hey! Where's Shiva? Get out here on the double so we can discuss some business! <sighs> You want me to come to you? How about I turn you to ice and hang you up on my wall? Ugh. No, thank you. Unless you're hiding some handsome men. Then I'm done with you now. Goodbye. We never said we're done with you. Uh, so... We were hoping to ask for a favor. A favor? Hmm... A bridge of ice? Yes! We heard that you were a specialist of sorts. You must be mistaken. I'm not the one who does the ice bridge trick. Oh, out of your league? Well, we won't waste our time with second tier mirages. You ready? Oh to get no! Huh? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, just a minute. When did I say that I can't do it? I heard what you said. But bridges are the other Shiva's job. That's true. If you're too small time, then just say so. I do not talk like that at all. And you dare to call me small time? You wretched humans! 
That is not how you wanted to talk to Shiva. Okay. Come on now, you're the great Shiva. Maybe you want to keep your cool. Ah. Come on, just build the bridge for him. Oh, and for us too. Wait, what? When did you two show up? What's going I on? I guess you might say that we're kind of sort of tagging in. You were. What? That doesn't even begin to make any sense. But don't expect any mercy from me. <laughs> oh, still unimpressionable. Sad. <laughs> Fine. This time I'll show you I'm not whatever it is you thought I was. Are you still yeah. hung up on what she said in the nebula? Yes. Wow, Long remembers that conversation? I guess it did traumatize him. He'll always the wonder what we were talking about. Hey, I'll get over it. Someday. Someday. But to start, oh yeah, we know Triumphant Shout bestow strength up on everybody. Let's see, but uh, I don't think she was going to like this very much. Now help. Oh, forget it. Have it your way. I'll build you your stupid ice bridge. Happy? Huh? Oh, thank you so much. Nice. Now the trip to Seronia won't take nearly as much time. It sure won't. Wait! This is exactly the kind of shortcut to bankruptcy that I was trying to avoid. No, I must... I must destroy the bridge! N relax, Yerlata. It'll be okay. <laughs> must save the bridge! <laughs> Taking a break now. What now? Whose soul will you touch? The Ice Bridge. Solid Frigicite as reward. Never cross the boss. Sherloda and Riffy are out and about among the ice, searching for a mirage that's been causing trouble. But that figure looming in the snow, it's. Okay, Charlotta. This is the place we heard about. Mm -hmm. It is f -f freezing out here. Let's get this over with so I can go back to the inn. Right. Somehow, I don't think she'll keep us waiting long. Leave it. Leave it. <gasps> D did you hear that? She's here. Leave your gill and treasure. And be gone from this place! If the undead princess is royalty, she must be the rich! Uh, well, I guess it's possible. Know who else must be the wealthy? That skeleton, the Mirage Lich! What? Oh, I get it. Lich, rich. <laughs> well, too bad, princess. I don't have a guild to my name. And you're bragging? Well, technically, you don't let him be near any of the money, so he's actually telling the truth. Huh. <laughs> I learned how that goes. Also no region. Um. Oh, I thought... Oh, can no longer cast, uh... Fend. You still can. With all the shuffling around, not everybody <laughs> can cast Leaper anymore. Undead Princess! So I should be able to put Tama back in the party now, you right? Will regret Possession Rush! My Made you up. And Confusion. What's your weak to? Fire, light, fire.
Fire. Take 12,000. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Wave. <laughs> the mini man toys. Strongest mortals I've ever seen. I don't suppose such tough gals would be willing to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you think she was trying to tell us something there? Maybe. As long as she's not bothering this place anymore. Let's go home. Stop right there! Are you just naturally mean? Because I was all like, don't kill me, let's talk. Don't pretend you didn't hear me. Was I supposed to spare you so you'd stab me in the back? And why are you still breathing? Can't you take a hint? Let's try this again. Ah! I am so not breathing! Check it out! Dead as a doornail! Oh, I'm undead. The problem is I can't let creepy she-monsters scare folks away from my inn because that would basically put me out of business. <laughs> so Shall me. Uh, remind me never to get on your naughty list. Look who you can't kill. What is it going to take? Charlotta, I don't think we're going to make much progress this way. Maybe we should hear what she has to say. You're way too nice for your own good. Now talk, and it better be worth it if you don't want a beating. Why are you so violent? Look, just for the record, I'm not doing this because it was my choice. Come on, being a mirage leaves me with so much time to kill. So I said fine, what the hey? May as well make a little bling bling off my hobby. So you're tormenting people just because you're bored? Ow! Please don't hurt me! I'm just trying to give you some context. If a lady has a better idea, then hey, I'm all ears! So what you're saying is you don't know what to do with your end life. Yeah, super lame, I know. I mean, all I've really got is this deep-seated grudge, which is great for my hex life. But sometimes the magic just isn't there, even though it's supposed to be. <sighs> All right, I get it. If I can't slay you, I may as well make you useful. Whoa, for real? From now on, instead of scaring adventures away from my inn, I want you to scare them towards it. If you can do that, you're hired. Cool! You really mean it? Yes, I'll do it! I'm on the job! And don't you go threatening them or stealing their valuables. Oh, I would never dream of it, mistress! I have a purpose! Something to live for at long last! You just got through telling us you're dead. Well, that should take care of that. Refia, we're leaving. Oh, right! Hey! Wait, mistress! I'm going with you! Nope, your job is right here, 24-7. What? Is that, like, even legal? Well, considering you're already dead, maybe it is. Oh, there's the businesswoman turning that situation into getting her more money. <laughs> okay, well... That was an interesting conclusion to that one. <laughs> oh, while we're here, though. Prism case. Uh, let's... <laughs> Choices. Would actually like to keep the mini man toys here. Uh, unicorn, even though unicorn is really cool. A lot of healing the unicorn has. If you're looking for a good healer, that will serve you very well. Tama back. Let's continue with the <laughs> other side stories of what characters were doing before everything went bad. Need something? What now? 
Whose soul will you touch? Claim reward. Undead Princess Memento. Two holy torches. Okay. A grudge that won't budge. The undead princess is working hard at her new job, catching travelers and, quote, inviting, unquote, them to Sherilada's Solace, where Milady shows up. Sherilada enlists the undead princess's help in banishing yet another undying spirit. Great. So now she's going <laughs> to get more help. You have such a long road ahead of you, no? Why don't you rest a spell at that nice little inn over there? Oh, um, that's quite all right. Thank you. I'm not tired. And I need to cross the ridge by nightfall. Ugh, you know what? Uh, s strength fading. Ugh. Oopsie. Now I've really gone and zombified the pooch. Well, no one's gonna blame me for helping young people go green, right? Ah! Go green. Let drawing in customers. Oh, milady, hello! I was just about to take this gentleman here to the solace. Huh? What's the matter with him? Looks like he's already got one foot in the grave. Yeah. Uh, I'll bet you he's just hungry, right? You'd better take him back to the inn on the double. Hmm. Okay. Refia, get this young man set up with the meal. Undead princess and I are gonna check out that lead. Sure. Good luck, and watch each other's backs out there. Drag. <laughs> so, uh, what exactly is this lead we're chasing? Oh, there's been talk of a really obnoxious mirage haunting these parts. From what I hear, it's just as irritating as you used to be, which means I need to dispose of it. And you're helping. Well, why don't you tell me how you really feel about me? In here, I thought you cared. Boo-hoo. Come on, Death Breath. Hey, Milady, wait for me! <laughs> Whoops! Go green. Ha! So this is the place then? Swank! The ground here is nice and damp. You couldn't ask for better turf to work up a grudge. Really? I never thought this region would be prime real estate for mirages like yourself. Who goes there? Who has come to trespass upon my domain? This land is mine. Be gone at once. Now you actually sound spooky. <laughs> I may not be rich, but I've got lots of courage. Hardy har. You remember the rich lich joke? Yeah. So is this your passive aggressive way of telling me you want me to give you some money? Yes. Maybe. I mean, okay, maybe. very well. Here's one gill. Woohoo! One gill. Now I can buy. Hey, wait! I can't buy anything with this. Look out! Well, hey, hold on! This discussion isn't over! I'm with you, Lon. This discussion isn't over. <laughs> so mean. Give Lon some money. Not that the party's in shape. I spent about half of it buying stuff earlier, but... Metalliskull. Ooh. <laughs> Unimprisonable. Weak to wind, surprisingly. And light, of course, but wind! <laughs> Bye! Not that I need to cast, you're probably really- yeah, take 15k. Because this is a really old one. <laughs> it's one star, so they're not going to be too much of a threat. We'll just swing away there. Unless they could cast death. Death is always dangerous. Hey, three Phoenix Downs. Those will be useful. Ooh, who put the wrath in these wraiths, huh? And here I thought I had a nasty grudge. At least they had a good sense to disappear in the end. Yeah, <laughs> sure did. <sighs> so why is it you can't find the grace to just fizzle out? What? Why would you say something like that? You don't like having me around? I wonder. Maybe you'll pass away properly if I work you a little bit harder. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was kind of hoping to put my roots down here in the physical so, plane if that's cool. I think we should head back and check on our guest. Uh, oh, oh, okay. 
Hey, listen. I'm pretty useful to have around. Did you know I can do tricks? Yeah? What kind of tricks? Oh, well, like, uh, funny faces. Hurry up! Trick yourself! Don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job. It's so mean. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. What now? Whose soul will you touch? I love these side stories. I think they're they're really funny and really interesting. A Metella Skull Memento is a reward and two spider silk. Underdog Day is a long-standing pirate tradition. For on this day, any swabby can challenge their boss for the title of captain. Today, Mog, one of the Kupirus, decides to finally unseat Ferris from her throne. He cast an ancient, forbidden spell. All right, you scoundrels. Do you all remember what day it is? It's Underdog Day, Koopa! Aye! When any pirate can challenge his betters, only the strongest can captain us. Do any of you have the pom-poms to dispute me? Ha ha ha! Today is the day you answer to Captain on, Kubo! Oh, well, aren't you full of fire. So what have you got for me this time? I've seized the most ancient forbidden spell, Kubo! Captain, your shark bait, Kubo! Koopa? That's strange, Koopa. Oh, it was Koopa Bo, and not Koopa! <laughs> what? Who's there? Which of you wretched fools summoned me away? Ko Koopa? It was a summoning spell, Koopa! Don't you Koopa me, fool. You didn't know what it was. So you're the one who dragged me to this place? Just hear me out for one second, Koopa! Oh boy! Oh. Underdog day, is it? Sounds like my kind of diversion. Very well. I shall be your opponent, human one. This ship of yours, all of you, soon you will bow down before Ifrit is your master! The strongest can lead this pathetic crew. Now we begin. Ha! Ah, oh, Wish. Come on, you animal. Oh, Bear is not scared at all. I. When did you little half pints get here? Well, is it Underdog Day or isn't it? If you think you're stronger, shouldn't you be ready to prove it? <laughs> Once you have felt my true wrath, you'll regret those words! Hey, it's different again. Why do they Never call it did... Underdog Day anyway? Dark Horse Day would sound a hundred times cooler. I Dark guess Horse that's Day. that's a reasonable question. When did you learn a fancy expression like Dark Horse? Since we're in Grimoire, wouldn't it have to be Dark Chocobo Day? Oh, True. That's a great idea. We could blindfold a bunch of chocobos, no, put boxes on their heads, and then we can have them race. Maybe he doesn't even know what Dark Horse means after all. Why me? Maybe not. For the rain. For the rain. <laughs> Still. Yeah, it would be Dark Chocobo Day instead of Dark Horse Day. Makes sense. Uh, Prism Bubble. Uh, ice and water. Funny that. You know, this is for making fun of us way back near the beginning of the game. That was fun! Looks like I talked to oh, the hey. hey, Mega Phoenix. I, I will spare you alive. But remember this lesson well. Is... Is he gone now, Koopa? <laughs> 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 
Now that's what I call a challenge, Mog. But don't go slinging spells without knowing what they do. Sink or swim, I say, Koopo. That's why I don't taste the food I cook, Koopo. Well, you should. The muck from your galley makes me want to jump overboard. <laughs> Welcome to where fantasy melds with reality. What now? Whose soul will you touch? Two bomb cores. A friendship forged in Figaro. Vivi has cut his ties with the Federation and remains in Figaro to swear allegiance to Edgar. Together with the Black Mages, they have sought hard to protect Figaro, but there are still some who view them with distrust. Vivi, you have awakened as a champion, and I believe you have washed your hands of the Federation. However, there are many in Figaro who view an army of black mages, and one that served Bahamut, with considerable suspicion. Can you offer us your allegiance all the same? Edgar, sir. I know it's just words, but I've heard enough about what the Federation's done to understand that it's not right. Maybe I can help you somehow, or maybe I can't. All I can tell you is that I'm willing to try. I'm going to prove myself to you and to your people. Eloquently stated. Yes, they'll warm to you soon. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. With them out in the field, your men can stay here and get some much needed rest. Think happy thoughts. You're refusing to see the problem at all! I tell you, sire, you are far too trusting of them. Those things started out as mirages, and for all we know, they're still spying on us. I'll just have to keep an eye on them for the both of us. I beg of you, do not allow their cunning to win you over. Stay vigilant, sire. Really now, spying on us? Well... Maybe should be able to weather it. Oh, it's the captain. Hello, sir. Are you on patrol? You work so hard. Huh? You're that... Listen here. I have a few words for you and... Oh, yeah. Outside I found this beautiful flower. You can have it if you like. Hmm? Uh, oh. It's so strange. I thought Figaro was nothing but desert, but that isn't true at all now, is it? And we wouldn't have such pretty flowers if the kingdom's finest weren't out there bravely defending the castle. Ah! Oops, I'm gonna be late for training. Pardon the intrusion, sir. Uh, uh, it is a lovely flower. That Vivi. You just can't help but like the kid, you know? Thanks to the Black Mages, Figaro's defenses are stronger than ever. We're lucky to have him around. <sighs> I'm not unreasonable. And I never told anyone the Black Mages aren't capable. I just... I just want everyone to play things on the safe side. Oh! Captain, sir! I already cleaned up around there a while ago. But if it still needs work, I'll be happy to give it another go. What? Oh, oh is that so? Fine work, I'm sure. You just run along now. Go on, uh, get some rest. Okay. <sighs> Hello there, Captain, sir. Oh no, your uniform got torn. Want me to stitch it up for you later? What? Oh, uh... Thank you. <laughs> wow, sir! Look at your hands! They're so huge! Hey, Captain! 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 Hey, Captain!
me! I'm like a man possessed! I can't get Vivi out of my head! <laughs> Poor Captain. You know what? I'll suck it up and just say it. We need him. He's become an indispensable member of our kingdom. King Edgar could see it. He was completely right about the boy. What a resilient lad. <laughs> I salute you, Vivi. Mine is a hard mind to change. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. Uh, considering the operation at hand, I felt that their ranged magic would be the best fit. I understand your reservations, but you need to learn to trust Vivi and the other You're Black You're refusing Mages. to see the problem at all! You're putting them in too much danger, sire! How can you foist all the hardest missions on them? Huh? If anything were to happen to the Black Mages, it would be a devastating loss for the Kingdom of Figaro! My men will join them, sire! Just watch! We will keep them safe! Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get ready! <laughs> Completely changed! What is going on? Edgar! The Black Mages are ready to leave at any time! Hmm. You are a sly one, Vivi. Huh? Oh, never mind. Listen up. Today the Castle Guard will be deploying with you. Don't let them down. Aye aye! <laughs> I knew that I was right to place my trust in them. The Black Mages and Figaro are going to be fast friends. Still, who did Vivi win the captain over? By being nice? Just <laughs> by being nice and, and trying his best. You'd be surprised how far that goes. Hey, it works here on the channel, doesn't it? <laughs> Before I end this episode. Good evening. What now? Who's so Let's grab the uh, Remedy Plus. That's nice to have. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot they uh Riffy and Sherlotta convinced the chilly guardian of the Nether Nebula. Shiva, to erect an ice bridge across the frozen land. A safe route to Saronia has finally been secured, but what's gonna what is this gonna do to Sherlotta's bottom line? It's the undead princess? She begs for her life, but Sherlotta will hear none of it, and quickly finishes off the undead abomination. Except the princess gets right back up. Over and over and over again. Uh, she just won't stay dead. Fine. If she just has to live, she might as well make herself useful. The undead princess now has a new job. Sherlotta's so Solus PR agent. Her successfully send the undead terror to the afterlife. Sherlotta raises an eyebrow at the undead princess. Maybe she should learn from an example and just die already? Undead Princess refuses to take the hint and instead shows off her best parlor trick. Not impressed, Sherlock heads back to the Solace with the Princess in tow. Unfortunately for good old Mog, he fumbles his Koopos and accidentally summons Ifrit. Ifrit likes, to, likes the cut of the pirate's jibs and decides to challenge Ferris himself. Thankfully, Rain and Lon are there to intervene, and Underdog Day ends in another victory for the Salty Captain. Figaro's captain looked at Vivi with suspicion at first, but Vivi's pure heart eventually won the gruffed guardsman over. Now he's finally admitted that Vivi has become an essential part of Figaro. And that's quite the force that Edgar has now. He has uh, guardsmen, heavy armor, can take a lot of damage, along with black mages for support, ranged ranged offensive attacks. They'll be really good together. 
Especially when you have a champion like Vivi. Next time we'll do more of these that we haven't uh, that we haven't done so far. Probably not these tougher ones. Well, maybe we'll have to see. well we'll have to see. Um, that'll probably take up the next episode, and then the episode after that, we'll get back to the story with the five Cogna Lords. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next episode, I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.